Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and today I'm crafting with Simon Hurley's Snow Globe collection. This recently released by Spellbinders and it's a fabulous, fabulous collection. In the collection you'll find a base set which gives you the snow globe pieces like the base to the snow globe, the globe portion itself, several different sentiment plates that you can add, and a really really fun scene of Santa flying through the sky with some houses and trees and whatnot. So really gorgeous. But then in addition, part of the collection also features three add-ons which allow you to create different scenes. And they're each slightly themed. Um, so you have everything from a nativity scene to a more whimsical uh, snowman scene. So that's really fabulous. And today I'm actually mixing and matching between the base set and the woodland scene because there are some really fabulous trees. And what I've done is I die cut a lot of elements much more than what I think I would need. And that way I have everything ready to go. And when I sit down to start crafting, I don't have to pause and do more die cutting. So that's kind of how I like to approach projects like these because I don't always know exactly what I will create when I sit down to start making my card except for maybe a, a general idea, but I don't really know all of the specific pieces. What I love about this set is that there are a lot of details. The pieces, some of them are small, but they're not tiny. This house isn't super tiny. I didn't find it very hard to work with, although I do find that it is helpful to have a glue pen, like what I'm using. That definitely helps you just get glue right where you need it. The other thing that I'm using is part of the woodland set has trees that you can layer to have the appearance of maybe snow-capped trees. I die cut that and I used the pieces that fell out as snow mounds or little snow drifts, I guess to decorate my houses with. So I added all of those little pieces onto the roof line and a couple onto the window pane or the door frame. And that just makes it look, just that extra little bit of detail makes it look more snowy. This is an embossing folder that I've pulled out quite a few times now for this uh, season. And it's a gorgeous 3D embossing folder with snowflakes. And I just love it. So I thought that would be a really great backdrop for my card. You might notice that everything is white. And I've pulled out this Pear Blossom Press uh, light mechanism. This is the one that actually has three lights to it. What's great about the Pear Blossom Press lights is that the circuit is completely wired for you. You don't have to figure out how to attach your positive to your negative. You don't have to create a battery holder. Everything is just one unit and it does sell with batteries included. So it, will, it makes the whole um, mechanism as easy as just gluing it down where you want it. So that's really fabulous. And these lights are sold through Spellbinders now too. So you can pick them up at Spellbinders if you'd like. There are a couple different varieties of these lights. Uh, and so you can always get the ones that you are most interested in because there's a single light version, there's this one, which is the three light version, there's a halo ring version, so that one has, I think, five lights um, that are positioned in a circular ring or on a circular ring. And that one's great because the uh, latest iteration of that does come with some single lights too. It just makes good uh, use of packaging and whatnot. So there's that. There's also, I believe, some twinkle lights that instead of just being solidly on, they are, um, they blink. 
So here, all I've done is I'm going to hide my battery, the button that actually pushes and turns on the lights. I'm going to hide that in the base of the snow globe. And all I've done is just surrounded that um, battery with foam. You do want a slightly thicker foam because the battery does have a little bit of thickness to it. It is a standard battery, but it does need that extra foam so that it is um, kind of nice and level, that you're not accidentally compressing it down and, and possibly uh, accidentally turning the light on. Especially if you do send this through the mail, it it is helpful to have that thicker foam so that maybe if something gets pushed on, uh, put on top of it, which, you know, I'm sure through the postal service, a lot will get stacked on top of this. Hopefully that doesn't keep the button pushed and drain the battery the entire time it's shipping. Now with my battery holder in place, all I've done is just make sure that the three wires that have the lights attached to it are just extended upwards and they're coming up through the top of the base at a place where I know I can hide that with my snow globe scene. So the look I'm going for today is there are these gorgeous pieces of art that are, I think they're built into a light box and what it is is just plain white cardstock that has been cut and layered a ton with maybe some spaces in between. And so every layer has a different piece of the scene, a different shape sort of cut out that helps to frame the scene. And some of these are so, so elaborate and there are um, you know, dozens of layers of just plain white cardstock. And when you build all of that up and you get all of that dimension and detail, because every layer of cardstock is an opportunity to add something to the scene, it is gorgeous on its own, even, even though everything is just white. But what really brings it to life is when you turn the light on and it just glows because of all of the details that are cut into each layer. So that's the look that I'm going for here because in the base set we get a we get actually uh two dies that cut out a different sort of landscape profile. So one of them is just uh, soft rolling hills and the other one has that hill uh, at a different curve, but with a tree, or not tree line, but a uh, row of houses uh, built into that. And so all I did was I cut the circle for the snow globe, and I just used those border dies to cut different uh, landscapes out. And my mid scene here will be the one with the row of houses. Then um, behind that, what I've attached is a second circle that I used to cut a just a plain hill through. And with that one, I was able to actually flip it and use both both sides of the circle because one of them will be more towards the foreground. That's the smaller piece that you see that's still not adhered yet. And then the other one is the um, more of a backdrop or background. And I'm going to attach these small pine trees or evergreen trees to my background layer. And they work out really great because these have embossed detail in them or debossed detail in them and they're small so they they do look a little bit more like they are 
far further away in the scene. And from the woodland set, I've pulled out a different set of evergreen trees that have a lot more detail to them because those are two layer dies that give you those that extra detail and they're larger. So I'm going to combine the add-on, the trees from the add-on with the trees from this set, which is the base set. And what I'm doing is positioning my lights so that I'm going to have multiple layers. I can't really fit too many because I don't want to go thicker than the thick foam that I use on the base of the snow globe. But what I'm going to do is use my low profile foam, which is only one millimeter thick, whereas the foam that I used to surround the battery was closer in the ballpark of three millimeters, maybe a little bit more. So I'll be able to get a couple of different layers using my one millimeter thick foam and two of the three lights I'm going to put behind this row of houses and that will light up two of the four houses in, in this row. Uh, I guess the other two households, everybody's in bed already. And then what I'll do with my foreground is I will add a single house. Now this is the house. Also, it does come in the base set. There are actually two in the base set that you can create and you can actually add a lot of details to them because there are a bunch of dies that you can layer up to, if you were die cutting this out of different color cardstock, for example, you could have a color for the chimney, a color for the roof line, a different color for the window frames versus the door frames. So there's a lot more detail um, in those houses and those houses are slightly larger as well. So I thought those would make more sense to be closer to the foreground. And the third light that I am using from the Pear Blossom Light mechanism will light up that single house that's in my foreground. So it's kind of cool to be able to use these lights because the wires are super thin, so you don't have to worry about it adding a lot of bulk. The light is so small as well. So easy to hide behind these houses. And the houses already have the windows um, that are cut through. So they provide an opening for that light to just emanate through, which is part of what's beautiful about these sort of uh, paper scene light boxes that I was inspired by because so many of the different layers will have different parts that are cut out or cut through or little openings in some of those layers. And so when the light comes through them, it really highlights all of that detail. So that's what it inspired me. I'm going to have this card be pretty much all white, which is for me uh, not something I do all that often. But when you have all of this detail, I know from afar it might look a little bit underwhelming because you can't really see everything. But in person, it's it's really beautiful because there are all the different layers, there's all of the different scenes of what's going on in um, that foreground, midground, background, and then the the um, 3D snowflake embossed background is just gorgeous as well. So the only spot of uh, anything that's not white is I do need a, a push here button so that whoever gets this doesn't miss the fact that when you that this lights up and when it lights up it just becomes a totally different card it's uh it really brings out a lot of the detail and it just feels like a very um serene scene as you can see, there are a lot of elements that I did cut and prepare, but decided to not add. And here's what that looks lit up. Uh, I just think this is really, really fun. I want to make more of these and uh, use some of the other sets too.
I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, please consider uh, liking, leaving me a comment, and maybe even subscribing to my channel. I'll leave links to everything in the description box below. Until next time, happy crafting and have a fabulous day. Bye!